Welcome back, and uh, this is Yama Jack, and uh, today we got Gunslinger Ashwood Asylum Suicidal. Just kidding! Made you think we were doing Ashwood Asylum. <laughs> I fooled you. I fooled you. Uh, instead of doing Ashford Asylum, what we're going to do is we're going to do CSGO Office, because, uh, why not? Why not? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. I have a friend. One friend. Singular friend. Only one. No more. But I got, I got, I got a friend. She keeps wanting to get me into playing uh, Team Fortress 2 with her. Oh dearie, can I uh, go through here? No. Set it ahead, people. Okay. <laughs> Bad map design is what I say. And and then not from the, not from the, the the CS:GO people, not from Valve, but from uh, the the people who made this map for for Cap 2 specifically, because I should be able to get through this window. That I can't, I think, is a grave oversight. I imagine in uh, in CS:GO you can. Well, I don't know. Now that I think about it, maybe you can't. You can probably this this might be like a spawning area, like through that door or something, maybe. Seems like a pretty bad place to put like a spawn zone, because you could get spawn camped pretty easily from like a lot of places over here. Like I don't know, maybe they can get up on that and look over. You know, obviously there's like right through there. That's pretty hard to see as you're coming out. Especially since you're kind of like hiding yourself from everything over here. You're like hiding your view. It's not a good spot. Um, so I'd be surprised if this was a, a place where, you know, one of the teams spawns in. Doesn't seem like that good. Maybe down here though. You know, maybe down here. And then instead of, uh, you know, coming from over there, you're able to kind of come up here and... You know, kind of peer around and see what you're doing. Perhaps. Maybe down here, even. Something like that. Up there, though. Terrible place. You get spawn camp so hard. Excuse me. Where does the other team spawn? Well, it's typically going to be at opposite corners of the map when you're making a competitive thing like this. So the other team would be spawning... Break time's over. Hmm, hmm, hmm. More Zeds oh, definitely in here, right? Like almost 100%. Down you go. Almost 100% they spawn in there. Donka! Wata is good. <laughs> I like that. I agree, too. Water's pretty good, dude. Maybe in here, though. Now that I'm getting a, another look at it, this might be a spot where they spawn. This would be very close, though, to where I've decided the other team spawns. But it seems like a good spot to, to put a spawn point in, you know? It's just you don't really put spawn points at uh, like the middle of the map like that, you know? This map is definitely um, long. You know, it's definitely long like this, rather than, uh, like, it's very th short this way. Um, so spawn would be over here. <clears throat> and then another spawn over there. I'm choking on something. I'm okay. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't cut. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking one spawn is down here, and then the other spawn is up in the, the lounge, up at the other corner. That's my expectation. Can you climb ladders in CSGO? Have I been down there? I don't think I have. Seems like a good spot to put a spawn zone though, right? I really gotta use the washroom. We might have to take a break part way through this one. Cause I've, uh, I do have to use the washroom really, really badly. What? This is incredible. Oh my, can't stand on that. <laughs> okay, fine. So, um, I'm imagining, oh my, oh no, oh dear. Uh, I'm imagining that uh, that one of the spawns would be out here. 
This this feels highly spawn town to me. You know? Let me up. <laughs> this feels this feels can we go through here? Please tell me we can. Yes! Yes! Back in the game. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, maybe we'll play CSGO one day and see how accurate I am with my assumptions on, on where they put the spawns in this map. If you play CSGO, tell me how accurate I am. That, 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 that spot back with the, uh, that was kind of like underground-ish, you know? The, the little tunnel thingy that we followed there. I, I'm like 100% confident. Now, my 100% confidence isn't necessarily, you know, <laughs> definitely right. Um, but, you know, I am, I am very confident, at least. I, I, I am very confident that I'm right. It's just, uh, you know, it's kind of always like that, though, right? Like, aren't you, aren't you kind of, like, always confident that you're right? That's not, you know, I, I, I said it, and as soon as I said it, I'm just like, no, that's wrong. I think I'm, like, not right all the time. In fact, I, I might even go so far as to say that I think I'm wrong more often than I think I'm right. You know, unless it's something that I, 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 I'm actually a, an expert on, I, I, I generally speaking, like to believe that so that I'm wrong. You know? Believing that you're, you're irrefutably correct in anything is, is generally a mistake, in my opinion. I'm playing uh, on my, my Nintendo 3DS. Check this out. Does it make a noise? Go kill some Zeds. I don't know. It's kind of not showing anything on the screen. Aha! There it is! You hear it? That's the 3DS noises. Let me out! Let me out! Please, I beg of you. All this because I wanted to show off my 3DS noises. It was worth it. Don't tell me, don't tell me it wasn't worth it. I've been playing on that a little bit. I've been playing some Luigi's Mansion 2. Um, my sister played it a while back, but then she got stuck at a boss. And she's like, I don't like this because normally you beat the game first and then I get to ask you for help, but you haven't played it, so I can't ask you for help because I don't want to spoil the boss. And uh, that was like a year ago. <laughs> she just hasn't played again because she was stuck on it. And, uh, you know, I don't blame her. Um, Luigi's Mansion 2 on the 3DS, it's like genuinely really hard to figure out the puzzle sometimes. And I, I don't know, maybe my sister and I are just like really dumb. And, uh, you know, we, we can't see that, um, you know, the, the square goes in the square hole and the circle goes in the square hole. Uh, but I, I honestly, I think that they, uh, they upped the ante on the, the, the Luigi's Mansion 2 puzzles quite a bit. Um, they added a lot of new mechanics. So there, there's a lot of, like, more variety in, in what you can do as the player. And, uh, you know, what they can do as the, uh, the developers to, to make the puzzles and, and, uh, you know, all that. So, it's, uh, it's really cool. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I, it took me, like, an hour and a half or something for, uh, for B2, if you played Luigi's Mansion 2. Uh, go play B2. It took me an hour and a half. Kind of, uh, incredible, but... You know, it took me an hour and a half, dude. Oh, yeah. It's a fun game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I'm also trying to play Fates. Uh, what, which one do I have? I'm going to turn off my 3DS here. Power off. I could have just like looked on the home screen, I guess. I have... No, that's Echoes. It's not even... <sighs> oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna have to open up my, my 3DS again because I, I don't actually own the physical copy of the game. I only own the um, the uh, 
digital copy of it. So, it's uh, a little bit tricky for me to, to figure out which one I own by um, pulling the game cartridge out of the DS because I, uh, I don't own the cartridge. Dummy. Did he just run through the wall? Like, what the heck happened to him? Is he okay? Is he alright? For some reason, I feel like he's not alright. I'm pretty sure this is his weak spot. Is the, 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 like, that thing. You don't get, I wish, I wish the Gunslinger rack him up was about, um... Money, anyone? Like, hitting weak spots more so than headshots. Because bosses don't have weak heads. There's more of the, the 3DS stuff. You hear it? It's a... Uh, I like the 3DS sounds. It's fun. Fire Emblem Fates Birthright is what I own. Because there's, there's two of them. Because there's the two opposing... Um, like houses. Noble houses and stuff that they can face off against. Oh, I love... I love the Fire Emblem noises. The, like, the sound design in Fire Emblem is just fantastic. Everything from, like... The, the music to the, to the sound, the clicks as you're scrolling through the menus. It's all just, like, so good. The sound design is, is perfect. If I was making a game and I was like, hey, we need to hire, like, a, a sound design team, who would it be? 100% whoever makes the Fire Emblem stuff. I have like zero question about that. It's they're they're just like it's amazing. It's actually um back in back in the day we didn't have you know fancy iPods and you know phones and stuff. Um, you know I'm 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 uh, I'm not that old, but uh, I definitely grew up before. I mean it was the iPhone really, right? That uh, that kind of made smartphones pop off as, as being a sort of ubiquitous um, all-encompassing utility device rather than just a strictly speaking uh, communications device. Uh, the iPhone is really the one that's uh, kind of pioneered that whole thing, right? Like Blackberry was around, but even that, it was... And, and you know, Nokia had like the snake game or whatever, but um, for the most part, like iPhone is is when they were like, you know what, let's do something way better, and then it like completely changed the way everything in the world works. <laughs> um, whether you like it or not, they've had a huge impact on uh, on modern day life. Um, but you know, I, I grew up before the the iPhone era, right? Um, not too much before it. A few years later, and I, I, I'd have been born fully into the into the cell phone era. But but I grew up without cell phones, you know? I remember my first cell phone. It was a flip phone. Uh, I got it in, like, seventh grade or something. And I was one of the first kids in my class to, like, have a cell phone. Um, so it was, uh, you know, I, I, I was definitely not just... You know, uh, a weirdo that, that didn't have a cell phone, you know, it wasn't just like behind the times or whatever. I was, I was definitely, you know, one of the first to have uh, the, um, the modern day conveniences in, in my life, anyway. Um, but, you know, at a certain point, I didn't have, you know, I, I had an iPod Touch when those came out. When did those come out? Let's just look. iPod Touch, the original. I still have it. When was iPod? October twenty third, two thousand one was the first iPod. Um, but I don't, I don't care about the iPod. I mean the iPod Touch. I didn't have an iPod. Um, iPod Touch came out. The first iPod Touch. 2007. So that was when I got my first, um, like media player, designated media player. You know, for listening to to, to music or, or whatever. 
before that, when did the yeah, when when did uh, when did Fire Emblem release date? April yeah, April twenty fifth, two thousand three. I got it pretty much around then. Um, so you know there was there was quite a gap between when I was playing on uh, when I was playing Fire Emblem and appreciating the soundtrack, and uh, when I actually had something with which to efficiently listen to to music on the go. So, do you see where this is going? Can you can you kind of see the? <clears throat> my God! I said we'd play that stupid husk map, but I didn't think we'd be doing it this soon. Um. So what I would do was I would I would plug my headphones into like my Game Boy Advance, and I would uh, I would go into the the like music player thing in the in the Fire Emblem game because all the Fire Emblem games have like a a gallery you can go and look at all the artwork and uh, all the scenes you've unlocked and listen to all the music you've unlocked and everything and I've unlocked all of the everything from all of the games because I love the Fire Emblem series it's fantastic um, so what I did was I'd walk around with with this honking Game Boy Advance SP in my pocket and then my headphones kind of falling out of it uh, like, you know, plugged into it and, and out of my pocket into my ears, and I, I'd listen to the fire music while I walked around. That was how I uh, got started listening to music because I was out and about in the, in the real world. Um, so it's, it's I've been I've been appreciating the Fire Emblem music and and sounds for for many 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 years, almost almost twenty now, I guess, uh, like eighteen years or something like that that I've been uh, appreciating the Fire Emblem soundtrack. I uh, I bet it, it's kind of it's kind of funny. I love thinking about this kind of stuff. But I uh, there, there's a very high percentage chance that I've been listening to the Fire Emblem soundtrack for like longer than you, the viewer, have like existed. <laughs> Which uh, I I always like thinking about that kind of stuff. Just like how how long it's been. It kind of quantifies. It keeps you it keeps you grounded. You know. Like I've got I've got friends who were, you know, 18, 19-ish. Every now and then I like to think about, uh, you know, what was I doing when they were, like, born? Or, like, before they were born? You know, where was I in my life? Um, it's just, it's a, it's a fun thing to think about, I find. Because, you know, it's always trivial stuff, but, um, you know, like, I've been, I've been typing for, like, 20 years. And a lot of my friends are like, how do you type so fast? And I'm just like, well, you know, I've literally been typing since before your parents even thought to conceive you. So, <laughs> I have a, a mild advantage, I suppose. Now, it, happen, it happens a lot in the, in the Type Racer Discord as well, because a lot of the people there are kids, you know, 13, 14 years old. And, uh, you know, they're like, how do you type so fast? I'm like, I have literally been typing as a hobby. For longer than you've existed, you know, like I, I, there's a, there's a very good chance I was typing before your parents even knew each other. <laughs> you know, like it's uh, it's just, you know, when 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 you invest so much time into it, 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 you get good at it, right? And it's an enormous amount of time, longer than a lot of people's lives, which I, uh, I like thinking about. I don't know why, but I always I always find it funny. A lot I think a lot of people don't really care. You know, a lot of people don't really care about thinking about the age stuff and you know, like, well who cares? Like, yeah, you're older than me. Of course you were doing stuff when I wasn't born because you're older than me, so like it makes sense. But um to me I just I just find it fun. I just uh, I enjoy the 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 mental gymnastics my mind goes through to amuse me when I think about it. This Zed didn't look like it was approaching me, it looks like it was running away. I knew it. I knew it. Uh oh. Yeah. I mean, what do you want me to do in that situation, though? <laughs> what am I to do here? All right. What? If, what's the? Like, come on, come on, come on. What, what do you? What do you want me to do there? It was. It was a little bit of a. You know. You know. You know. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh,